September we Hey, what's up, sis? And I told you I was coming bike. So, let's talk, sis. And I'm going to say this right now. It's camera quality. It sucks. Um, but my phone just died, so um, we about to just rock with this. But anyway, we got to talk about something. We got to talk about family, okay? We got to talk about family and, and how they treat us. So, you know... A lot of us are family oriented people. We love our family and all this other stuff, right? Great. However, there comes to a point where we gotta start treating people how they treat us. Feel me? Family, you know, like they say, blood don't make you family. Okay, and that's real true because let me tell you something. I know some people who I consider family who's not even blood, you know, consider them more family than some of the people in my family. You know, sometimes you gotta cut people off. We're gonna come through because we're gonna really talk. You gotta cut people off, right? Because it gets to a point where we gotta stop allowing family to do do like we gotta stop allowing them to do stuff that they do and say stuff that they say you know what I'm saying like we gotta stop making excuses for family members people will talk to you crazy you know what I'm saying it's one thing for when people outside that don't know you the outsiders talk to you like a piece of crap but then when you got family members that talk to you crazy and do, like, real messed up stuff that family should just not do, it's a point where you gotta stop making excuses and you gotta love people from a distance, you feel me? And, sis, <laughs> I'm telling you right now, if you going through something with, fam with family or family member and you feel like, that's my family, I can't, you know, I can't let them go, I can't, you know, let, you know, I can't leave them hanging, I'm gonna tell you right now, you definitely can, listen, y'all gotta stop allowing people to use their titles, you gotta stop allowing, allowing people to use their, their placements in your life to treat you any type of way, I don't care who, who you claim to be, mother, father, grandmother, aunt, uncle, cousin, like, Nah, and I'm talking from experience because you know I've dealt with a lot of family issues. People, you know, using you know just talking out of their mouth, treating me any type of way, and I've come to the point where I'm getting too old to be letting people slide, and I've cut a lot of people off. A lot of people, a lot of people in my, in my family don't. Stop. We don't speak. And will I ever speak with them? No. <laughs> and a part of me is because I'm petty. And, you know, me and petty is really not that great. It's not, not, not really a good trait. However, sometimes people got to learn. They got to learn. Got to learn that you cannot treat me any type of way, talk to me any type of way, and expect me to still be around you I love you from a distance but I'm going to tell you one thing <laughs> you won't see me, you won't hear from me, nothing you know what I'm saying Like we gotta we gotta, we, sometimes, we gotta we gotta do better for ourselves because you know what our mental health is important and the way that people treat us is important I don't care who they are I don't care what age because, you know what, it gets to a point where, you know, certain things are okay to do at certain ages. When you a child, it's okay for you, you know, they say whatever they want to say. When you start to get to an, uh, to an age where you're an adult, and people still treating you like crap, 
And you still sitting there, you you just sitting around, just, you still sticking around with it? Nah, you gotta, nah, nope, 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 nope. Love people, love family from a distance. I've learned to do that. I'm still doing it. Because, <laughs> you, the, 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 the things you allow people to do, if you keep allowing somebody to treat you and talk to you and act crazy around you, they never gonna stop. Anyway, <laughs> so, you know. I know they say family, you can't live with them, can't live without them. I can do without. <laughs> Trust and believe. I, any, any, listen. I love my mother to death. I really do. But the minute she starts, the day, the day she starts talking to me out of pocket, like on some, like, I don't, like, talking, like, you know, talking to me as if she don't know me. That's it. Nobody is, is exempt from being cut off <laughs> at all. No family member is exempt from this, from this cut off. You feel me? It's about to be 2020. We got to have good vibes. We, we got to be happy in life. And if you are in a family and if you're, if you're in a situation where you live with someone, and, like, you know, your circumstances is different where you can't be on, where you're not on your own because you're going through, you know, money issues and stuff like that and you're staying with family sis go get that bag you might have to work extra extra shifts cause nobody has to deal with nonsense nobody gotta deal with people talking crazy like nah no nope and once you get that bag you grab your bag and you pack your stuff and you find you somewhere to go <laughs> you yeah and love them from a distance that's all i'm gonna say love them from a distance we gotta really start learning to 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 love us more and care about our mental health more than then we allow these people to talk to and treat us treat us crazy nobody no no sis no you're better than that you're better than that. You're not five years old anymore. You're not ten years old anymore. You're a grown woman. Like I said, if your circumstances is different and you you're in a in a place in your life where you can't, where you have to stay with family, and and you know you don't really have much, and and you know that's all right. But eventually, you will be able to get out that situation because. <laughs> Sis, uh-huh, no. no, 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 nobody got to deal with that for the rest of their life. You're bugging. <laughs> like I said, I don't care what the person's title is, what their what their title is in your life. No, nobody has the right to use their title to treat you like a piece of crap. I'm sorry, nope, nope, never. No. So, for the rest of 2019, 2020, ladies and gents, we're gonna get our bag, and we're gonna we're, we gotta we. We gotta love our family from a distance. Love family from a distance. And if you don't want to do that, then you must continuously be dis- disrespected. And I wouldn't be one of. Oh, I don't want to be you. Sorry. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Where if you knew better, you do better. And and if you see how they treat you, why you still want to deal with that? For what? For what? Because they're family? Okay, you can find family on the street. Let me tell you something. There's people on the street that you will find that will be more family than your family. <laughs> so, that's not even an excuse. Yeah. Love from a distance, I'm telling you. It, it's a beautiful thing. It works. <laughs> you know, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all share this out. And I'm going to catch y'all tomorrow.
Because, you know, listen. I said I was going to give y'all full videos. Child, I'm tired. So, y'all going to get these two. I'm sorry for the quality of this second one. But, um, I'm going to catch y'all tomorrow. All right?